Hello and welcome. My name is Mr. Asprey and this is another daily A-level maths tricky question. I chose this question because um, lots of students find proof difficult and this one doesn't really give you um, an idea of how to start. It's very um, open so I thought this would be a good one for me to do. If you do like the content, please do like this video if it's helpful for you and subscribe for more. I plan to do one of these every weekday right up until the A-level exams. Okay, uh, the number k is defined by k is equal to n cubed plus 1 where n is an integer greater than 2. And the first question says given that n cubed is equivalent to n plus 1 multiplied by n squared plus bn plus c, find the constant b and c. So one mark, it should be fairly straightforward, what we're going to do is we are going to equate the constant term first. So on the left side we have a 1, and on the right side when I multiply the brackets I will get a 1c, so therefore 1 is equal to c. I can next um, look at the uh, n terms, and there are no n terms on the left, and the n terms from the right would come by doing n multiplied by c, and also... Um, n multipl sorry, 1 multiplied by bn. So dividing through by n, I'm going to get 0 is equal to 1 plus b, so therefore b is equal to minus 1. Okay, great. So that's the first part done. And part b asks us to prove that k has at least two distinct factors other than 1 and k. And I'm going to use a proof by contradiction here. So what we've done in the first part is we've shown that k, which we know is equal to n cubed plus 1, is equivalent to n plus 1 multiplied by n squared minus n plus c, which is 1. So essentially what we've done is we've shown that it that k can be split up into two factors. So I'm going to label these factors uh, factor 1 and factor 2. And the question has asked us to show that factor 1 and factor 2 are distinct, which means they're different from each other, and they are not just 1 and k itself. So I'm going to assume that they are 1 and k, and then prove by contradiction that that can't be the case. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that the first factor, f1, is equal to 1. Let's see what happens. Well, when f1 is equal to 1, I get that n plus 1 must equal 1. And therefore, n is equal to 0. And as we know in the question n is greater than 2, this is a contradiction. So I can write here contradiction, and that implies that the assumption that we made was false, so that f1 does not equal 1. And if f1 doesn't equal 1, then it means that f2 can't be k, because we know that f1 and f2 multiply to make k. Okay, great. So that proves that f1 can't be 1, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that f2 is equal to 1. And subbing in, I'm going to get n squared minus n plus 1 is equal to 1. Subtracting 1 from both sides gives me n squared minus n is 0, which gives me n, n minus 1 is equal to 0, which tells me that n must be 0 or n equal to 1. Again, as n is greater than 2, this is a contradiction, which means that f2 uh, doesn't equal 1, which means that by the same logic, f1 doesn't equal k. Okay, great. So we've proven that neither of these factors, f1 and f2, are 1 or k, but we also have to prove that they are not the same because remember, we are proving that these are two distinct factors, which means different. So let's assume what happens when f1 is equal to 2. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to get n plus 1 is equal to n squared minus n plus 1. And solving that, setting it equal to 0 on the left side, gives me n squared minus 2n, 
on the right side. So factorizing gives me n, n minus 2, which tells me that they are only equal, these two factors, when n is equal to 0 or n is equal to 2. And as we know from our question, at n is greater than 2. This, again, is a contradiction. And that tells me that f1 does not equal f2. And therefore, we have proved QED that they must be different and they must be factors other than 1 and k. If you found that useful, please do like the video and subscribe for more content coming your way over the exam period. And if there's any particular topic you would like me to do or any exam question, please leave a, um, a comment in the comment section and I will look at it and hopefully do that question to help you. Okay, bye for now.